What's up, everyone? What's up, money friends? I'm going to teach you guys how to make money like the bank. And I'm very excited about this. I'm going to go over my strategy on how I'm doing this and how you can really easily do this too. Um, I have a lot of different income streams from uh, real estate to software to uh, some affiliate stuff. Uh, what else? Um, I make money on through real estate. I make money from my car. So this is another strategy I'm using to pretty much leverage money like the bank does. And so if that is something that you're interested in, definitely leave a comment in below. And I'm going to show you how the banks make money and how you can uh, do the same. So um, I'm going to switch to my handy dandy uh, sketch pad. And so I'm going to grab this little bank and if you understand how banks work, um, they make their money multiple ways. And I'm just gonna pull out some uh, some things real quick. So let me grab uh, Penguin. This is me, a little Penguin. And then uh, I'm gonna go with a Unicorn. And so, uh, this will be you guys because you guys are all special unicorns. Um, so the banks make money this way. So uh, you give the bank money and they give it uh, a return on that money about 0.05% or uh, roughly about a half of a percent on your money. So if you're spending, if you have like $100 in the bank, they're giving you like 50 cents uh, for every $100. Um, so they're giving you 0.05% on your money, which is not a lot. Um, and then what they're doing is they're actually lending me that same money and I'm paying them uh, about 5%. Um, it could be lower, it could be uh, higher. It just really depends on, um, like I'm an investor, so my... Uh, interest rate is going to be a little bit higher. We just refinanced all of our properties and we got our two multifamilies are actually at 5% and our two single family homes are actually at 3.75. So I'm just going to go based on multifamily. And so what they, they actually make is the difference on the spread, right? So um, between 3.5% uh, and 5%, sorry, 0.5% and 5%, uh, they're making uh, a difference on that. So let me grab this. They're making 4.5%. 4.5%. And so um, it's not bad just for you giving them money. Uh, this is called using other people's money, right? So they're utilizing your money and uh, I'm utilizing their money and doing so uh, they're making four and a half percent. Not bad, but what is also amazing is not only are they making that four and a half percent on that spread, is they're charging you guys like a $15 a month fee to hold that money. Um, so if you say only have $100 in there and you're getting 50 cents uh, for that $100 in your savings, uh, you're actually negative money because uh, $15 is a lot more than uh, 50 cents. So you're actually going to need like, what is it? Let's just get a calculator. Uh, 15,000 times 0 0.5 times 0 0.05. Uh, you're going to be need about 5,000 in the bank to break even. So if you don't have 5,000 in the bank, you're probably uh, negative money. And not only that, but with the cost of inflation, your money is actually uh, losing value every single day. So uh, you're losing about 6% every year um, by just holding your money in the bank. So uh, that's kind of how they make their money. Plus they're taking that money that you in that, like you've invested and they're borrowing it, they're giving it to me 
they're uh, reinvesting it into the stock market. They're reinvesting it into different um, projects, uh, all sorts of different things. So they're definitely utilizing your money better than you're utilizing your money, um, especially if you're not doing anything and you're just leaving it in a savings account. You're actually probably better uh, keeping all your money in uh, like underneath your bed so that you don't have fees taken out and all that stuff. So um, that's what the banks kind of do. Um, so I'm going to go over how I'm kind of doing it differently. What's up, man? I, uh, I can't actually see who's on. So let me um, just see my live. Uh, what's up, man? Um, so this is what I'm doing. Um, and I don't know if this is something you guys are interested in. If you definitely are interested in, then let me know. Um, but I own uh, multiple businesses and I can get lines of credit. And so uh, with lines of credit, I can, I'm not paying on the line itself, but I'm only paying on what I take out. So um, let me get my, my pain when dude again. And so what they're doing is they're lending me money at 6% a year. And so uh, a little bit higher than uh, a mortgage uh, that is an investment property, about a percent higher, but uh, I can utilize that money and actually reinvest that money into an income stream that is paying me about 1% daily. So with that 1% daily, I'm actually, uh, it's actually five days a week. So whatever five times 52 is, to uh, 260. So uh, I'm making 260% utilizing the bank's money, just like they're utilizing your money to give to me uh, when it comes to mortgages. I'm utilizing the lines of credit that they have to reinvest into income streams that pay me 1% uh, every single day. So I've, I've invested about $1,500 so far. And I've made my money back probably about half of it in a couple of weeks. But, um, you know, in a couple of weeks, I've already made 50%. That's an amazing cash on cash return. I'm definitely going to go uh, double down on this uh, when the time comes. Right now, we're buying our house. So um, banks don't like when money moves around. So once this house is done in, um, in February or March, uh, sorry, not March, May, um, I'm going to start reinvesting a lot of my income into these passive income streams because one passive income just utilizes or leverages my time and I can do more lives like this. I can travel more. Um, I can do all sorts of stuff. So uh, if this is stuff you guys are interested in, let me know. Uh, I just, I love passive income. Uh, it just allows me to do whatever I want. And as you can see from my accounts, like I'm no stranger to uh, make money. So um, like right now 65,000 in the bank, uh, I have 1.7, almost 1.8 million in assets. Um, so if that's something you guys are interested in learning, uh, definitely drop a message down below and I will, uh, go into more detail uh, about this. If you guys don't have um, lines of credit, then don't worry about it. Uh, it's probably not for you then. Um, I would highly recommend that you're making at least um, 60,000 to do this kind of stuff because uh, uh, it's just a good, um, it's kind of what, what Banks go by how much you make. And so if you're not making 60,000, they probably won't extend a line of credit to you um, in a business. So uh, if that's something you guys are definitely interested in, this is for my people that are making more money, probably not someone who is new. So if that's something you guys are interested in, let me know. I will uh, definitely go into more detail about this strategy. Um, but for now, uh, that's it. I'm gonna go have dinner and I will talk to you guys soon. Peace.